Hey there, it's John Barry, and welcome to my review of Star Trek Strange New Worlds Season 1, Episode 8, The Serene Scroll. So, and this, this is, I'm going to start off saying, a very great episode, um, action-packed, um, but also very thought-provoking, um, so we're going to jump right on and spoilers ahead. So, this episode, very much, I would say, is actually a very, um, Christine Chapel, so this Chapel, um, and, I think Christine, right? Yeah, Christine Chapel, I think, it's, yeah. But essentially, Nurse Chapel and Spock, very focused on those two characters of our main cast. Um, so, we have, we got a little hint of the friendship, but this is really, dwells into it a lot more. And then, of course, we have a, a, um, an A, a, a person who gives out A pretending to, who's actually not because she's been, apparently, Strained on a planet, and a pirate captain took her place, and and took and was able to trick the Enterprise doing all that, including Spock as well. And this is actually quite surprising. We get the name drop, and also see at the end of this episode, Spock's half brother Cyborg from from Star Trek Five. Great, I'm gonna have to rewatch that film. I don't want to rewatch Star Trek Five. It is my least favorite Star Trek film. So that does deduct some points, I'm not scoring these episodes, but that does deduct some points because I do not like that film. Give me The Voyage Home, please, and give me, give me, so four and six, but do not give me five. Uh-uh, no thank you. But regardless, I, I've watched it once, that's all I need, I know, the, just so. I, the, and that's after this anyhow, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. Anyhow, um, anyhow, um, so this also we get to see a lot more action. Um, it's just a good, fun episode. Um, we can definitely see that Nurse Chapel definitely has a crush on Spark, and Spark I think is starting to be like, like no, I think he's starting to realize that and potentially even starting to wonder if he might have a crush on Nurse Chapel in return. It's just the beginning of that, um, and because I does. I think conflict with, and that does conflict with his relationship with uh, to bring so the Vulcan he's betrothed to, you know. So she and Spark, you know, all that. Apparent, it, it's kind of interesting. We get to see more for work and all that. We're trying to rehabilitate Klingon, uh, Klingons, <laughs> Vulcans who abandoned the logic. And as soon as Spark realizes who the prisoner is, oh yeah, speaking of which, um, the so the captain of the Serene Squad takes over the Enterprise. I should have mentioned that. Boarding acting quite clever way and get the way team and ca Pike out of out of the way onto the Serene Scrub where they're captured. It's quite neat and then of course, of course Captain Pike's able to get just push the right buttons uh, on the crew and Serene Scrub and is able to get a mutant so they could go risk retrieve the Enterprise. Meanwhile, Spark and Nurse Chapel are the only ones left on the Enterprise and Spark is able to get to engineering. And that's where it's revealed that the captain, the true captain of the Serene Scroll is actually on the ship and was able to basically spark thinking like he's taking control of the ship, unlocks the security override that number one had put in, and that allows the, the pirates to take control of the Enterprise. And of course the pirate captain, she wants to rescue her Vulcan over, which is Spark's half-brother. Just a weird thing. <laughs> But apparent, but it is interesting. But as soon as Spock re and was willing to basically the idea of capture Spock to exchange for Cyborg, I mean at least the brothers, half brothers, but still. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, as soon as Spock realizes who that Vulcan is, he's like, basically he realizes he's got to convince to bring not to agree to the exchange, and the only way he can think of is to fake having an affair with Nurse Chapel. It's just it's weird, but it does work, and we do know from. The TOS that Nurse Chapel does have feelings for Spark and definitely sees Spark probably in a different light than probably all her other you know, crushes and all that that she's had in the past because we do get a touch on that in a previous episode. Um, but one thing that's quite fascinating with how they go about this is to bring they you know that like you were just acting, you had to play the part and because they go through like breaking up but then they agree that it was all fake and they un, un, un break up. I mean, it's just confusing, complicated stuff. Um, but I do wonder if going forward they're going to explore more of that tension between Spark and Nurse Chapel because obviously there is some chemistry there. 
And I don't know if it's necessary one second, because remember, in one episode of TOS, um, Spark, uh, I think it was the episode, basically where people's minds were getting moved around because of weird alien stuff. And I forget exactly which episode, but basically to, to save Spark, basically his, well, now we know it's Katra, but back then it wasn't, but basically Spark's mind, soul, whatever, was put into Nurse Chapel. Obviously, there's high trust between the two if they both agreed to that. And, of course, the episode where we actually learned about Palm Far and all that with Vulcans, who's the one who knows, who basically knows his, that Spark is going through something and pretty much like understood it. Nurse Chapel. So obviously she's looked into this stuff, I think. But it's kind of taking those little things here and there from uh, from the TOS and bring it into Star Trek Strange New Worlds and, and developing a forward to it, that stuff I should say. Obviously we know how certain things go. And of course, Spock's entire pursuit of knowledge probably destroys any chances he has for a relationship with anyone but Cook. I mean, this is, those are the best of friends, for sure. But anyhow, I just enjoyed this episode. We got an exciting boarding action and done differently. Because oftentimes in sci-fi, boarding comes at the end of the battle here. It's how the battle starts. Because, you know, of all the... what. The, the pirates went out of this and all that and what all that but they were able to do it in such a way that it actually made tactical sense where most time when there's a boarding action it's because they want to capture something specific in this case it was Spock but also gave the pirates a, a new fancy ship to play with but going back to Captain Pike and all his going on on the being uh, captured so he talks to the captain who's trying to get the command codes to him to un do the lockout on the Enterprise, but what I think is most hilarious is that P Pike starts like basically he convinces them to s convinces the pirates to sell them to the Klingons instead of somebody else, because the idea is like he kind of sent it to the captain that it would make them well he saw who he saw was the actual captain make the pirates a lot of money, but to the rest of the crew he insinuated that would be very bad for them. Same thing with the Enterprise as a whole. So it's plain to see the doubt. And then he agreed to cook a meal, so, and probably tried to do his best to make it as tasty, so that way, because apparently the captain, the, well not the actual captain, but who Pike thinks is the captain, or at least probably pretty high up, uh, is, what's what I'm looking for, is a terrible cook. And Pike doesn't like his cooking apparently, but the idea is like give the crew a taste of good cooking and they might be more willing to mutiny. And so he gets the crew to mutiny and then they pre and it's kinda of funny, they come and rescue the Enterprise of course, but they prematurely take control of the bridge, he says. It's it is just hilarious. But I did like he's using intelligence to oh, to take care of the situation, tricking the pirates. And what's funny is it's implied that him and number one have done this exact same thing before in another situation, which I just love that implication. Um, but that is all I have for you today. So feel free to let me know in the comment section down below what did you think of this episode of Star Trek Strange New Worlds. If you haven't done so already, feel free to like, share, subscribe, follow, all that stuff, and check out the links down below. Also, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good day, a good night, wherever you are, live long and prosper.